This lesson is on balancing combustion reactions. Balancing combustion reactions is an important part of Science 30. In order to balance, you will need to take out page 5 of your data booklet, as well as a calculator. In the first question where it asks to write the equation for the combustion of octane, we first go to page 5 to look up the chemical formula for octane. Octane is C8H18 liquid. In any combustion reaction, besides a fuel, the second reactant is always oxygen gas. The products of combustion of any hydrocarbon is always carbon dioxide gas, as well as water vapor. Unless the question asks you to use water liquid, water vapor, or H2O gas, is always used as the second product. The first step in balancing any combustion reaction is to divide the equation into two halves. Everything on the left-hand side of the arrow are called the reactants. Everything on the right-hand side of the arrow are called the products. We now start with balancing the number of carbon atoms. On the reactant side, we have eight carbon atoms. On the product side, however, we only have one carbon atom. In order to make this equation balance, we have to use coefficients. Coefficients are the large numbers that you normally see in front of any chemical formula or element. Because we want eight atoms of carbon on the product side, we need to multiply our one carbon atom by something in order to get eight. Therefore, the coefficient, or the number of moles of carbon dioxide, will be 8, because 8 times 1 gives us 8. Carbon is now balanced. Next, we'll balance hydrogen. On the reactant side, octane gives us 18 atoms of hydrogen. On the product side, however, we only have 2 atoms of hydrogen. So in order to make 2 atoms of hydrogen into 18, we need to multiply our H2 and H2O by 9, because 9 times 2 is 18. Now that the hydrogen atoms are balanced, we can move on to oxygen. Oxygen is often the trickiest part to balance. We need to start with the oxygen on the product side. From carbon dioxide, the number of oxygen atoms that we have will be 8 times 2, which is 16 atoms of oxygen. However, H2O or water also gives us molecules of oxygen. So we will go 9 times 1, which gives us 9 atoms of oxygen. And in total, don't forget to do this part, we'll have 16 plus 9, which is 25 atoms of oxygen. Now that we have 25 atoms of oxygen in total on the product side, we have to somehow make our two atoms equal 25 as well. Because 25 is an odd number, we have to use a fraction or a decimal. 2 times 25 over 2 should give us 25. Try that on your calculators. Another way to write 25 over 2 is 12.5. 12.5 times 2 will also give us 25. The equation is now balanced because the number of atoms on one side is conserved and equals the number of atoms on the other. For science 30, we can leave our coefficient of 25 over 2 or 12.5 as is, or you can multiply the entire equation by 2, and that way we can get rid of the fraction. We will now balance the second combustion question on page 8 of the workbook. In order to write the combustion of propane, we go to page 5 and find propane. Propane is C3H8 gas. Same as before, the other reactant in a combustion reaction is always oxygen. The products of hydrocarbon combustion are always carbon dioxide gas plus water vapor. We begin again by balancing the number of carbons. In propane, we have three atoms of carbon. On the product side, in carbon dioxide, we have one. 
In order to make this balanced, we will need to multiply 1 by something in order to get 3. If we look, 3 times 1 will give us 3 carbons, therefore making them balanced. Next, we move on to hydrogen. Propane gives us 8 atoms of hydrogen, and on the product side, water gives us 2. Since those aren't balanced, we need to multiply 2 by something in order to get 8. Therefore, the coefficient in front of water will be 4, because 4 times 2 is 8. Finally, the tricky step, oxygen. We start on the product side. Carbon dioxide will give us 3 times 2, which is 6 oxygens. From our water molecule, we will get 4 times 1, which equals 4 atoms. In total, what we have is 6 plus 4, which is 10 atoms of hydrogen. On the reactant side, we started with 2 atoms. We need to multiply by a number to get 10, and that number should be 5, because 5 times 2 is 10. And this equation is now balanced. Make sure you try the next two on your own, and check with the end of this video for the answers. And if you have any questions, make sure you ask your teachers.